What's going on everybody? Come back. We're going to talk about a new cook stove I have and why I may still be using this one instead. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. Alright, so uh, I've always used this Burton um, mini stove when uh, doing small stuff and hiking that kind of stuff but that's that's the stove in itself right there flip everything out it locks down in place such and such and such I've been using this stove for quite some time now several years actually um, it is built by Burton if you know who Burton is and the, their compasses and that kind of stuff then you know what I've got um, I got this through a deal buying um, several camping products and I mean I basically paid like 15 bucks for this thing and I think I looked it up one time it was around $70 new so I got a good deal on it it's a nice little stove um, uses the screw style butane just like all the other uh, little camp stoves out there on the market so Come uh, a few weeks ago, I got a offer on email, and I've bought from them before through Apache Pine, selling cook stove. All you had to do is pay shipping. I was like, can't go wrong there. So I got it, and this is it. It comes in this little orange container. You take this, and you kind of just spin it out like so. Open your legs up, and then there's your, there, oh, yeah, there it is all together. So, the one thing it has, doesn't, the one thing that Burton doesn't have is an igniter. This one's got the little igniter on it. Um, Quality-wise, I mean, it looks like it's in fairly good, I mean, fairly good built, uh, uses the same canisters and everything we're not going to test it in the house uh, to see how it cooks up but i mean the pot stand part looks pretty robust i haven't set a pot on it yet let's see i can grab my esbet let's see how balanced it it really needs to tank under it but i mean it looks like it would grab pretty good as far as make sure I get where y'all can see this one only has three legs where this has four for you to set your pot on so you get a little more um, you get one more leg for the pot set on so a little more stability uh, but these are pretty robust except for that one it seems like it's not going all the way down maybe I'm wrong no they're all going all the way down so then your cup would sit on it like so. Of course, I'm trying to hold it. I don't have it on a canister. So, I mean, it looks like it would sit pretty good. Uh, the one thing I would gain out of this stove is a self-igniter. Pretty good little spark. Like I said, we'd have to hook fuel up to it and see how she does. Um, the thing I like about the Burton... Um, I don't know. I mean, there's not much difference, actually. There's not a whole lot of difference. This folds up a little nicer. The Burton can be kind of tricky shutting it up if you're not, you know, if you've never shut it up before, don't know it's little corks. I still don't think that one is laying down all the way. It's not. Okay. So, without burning it and seeing what kind of uh, results we get, not 100% on it just yet. Um, Burton, I've cooked quite a bit on this thing. I know how it works. The one thing I do like about the Burton over this thing is I'm not a big fan of this plastic um, container. Now, I'd have to leave it separate in my food bag, whereas this I can tuck into the, uh, the Stanley cook pot and it goes right down inside of it, no problem whatsoever. And it's, you know, like I said, you got a lot less 
bulk, I guess what could say, and you got a lot more crunchability, whereas this you can't. And I'm sure they're doing that to protect the, uh, the igniter on it. So yeah, it just you'd have to rearrange everything. Let's see, I did this. Oh, well, I can get it in there, but I can't get that in there. Well, yeah, I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. No, Bare lead barely goes on. I'm testing all this in front of you, so you know what what's working, what's not working. Now, would you get rid of your lighters and matches for the igniter? No, because. If I need to start a fire in camp, I've still got a lighter and a match. Let's see. Let's play with it a little bit and see. I think that lid kind of goes back on. Will this hold it down? Yeah, it's holding it down. But it kind of, I don't know. You put this burton down in there. Let's see. Do it like I had it. I kind of set it down in there first, so. But the lid does go on it 100%. So, I don't know. We'll play with it. We'll carry it on a couple camp trips and we'll see what we think of it. Um, like I said, I'm sure it's probably Chinese made. I mean, seriously, what's not? <laughs> uh, well, that Burton, I think, is supposed to be U.S. made. I might be wrong. But looking at it, I mean, it's it's a good looking little stove. Well, let's fire it up and see um, see what kind of uh, flame we get and see how stout it is. I still just don't 100% think that one's laying down as far as the rest. I may be wrong. It just looks different. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Uh, you'll possibly see this cook stove here very soon on a trip. As soon as the lockdown is over with and we can get our state parks back and that kind of thing. So I guess it's it's also, like I said, it's the first time I've had one that's got an igniter on it. So we'll have to see how that goes too. Um, you always got to have your backup matches and lighter, I feel like. So. Anyway, like I said, it's Apache Pine. I'll leave a link down below if you want to go check them out and see what all they got. They've got some other things. I have a minimalist wallet that I got from them that works pretty darn good. I've carried it for uh, two years now. I don't have any problems with it. It has elastic where you slide the cards down it. works pretty good. Um, so anyway, that's it for now. Make sure you check out all them links below. Subscribe to me. And... Uh, do anything come back and watch the next video all right guys be prepared